So the United States, the most powerful spacefaring nation, is taking matters into its own hands. It's not going to break the bank by investing in unproven technology to clean up the debris problem. But the federal government is spending a billion dollars on a new tracking system called Space Fence. Space Fence will provide the capability to detect, track and catalog objects all the way from the baseball size uh, down to sort of marble size, depending on the altitude. So instead of just tracking 22,000 large objects, Space Fence will now allow the Space Surveillance Network to track up to 200,000 much smaller objects. To be honest, a lot of people would say, well, let's just put our head in the sand and ignore the problem, and well, that's just a responsible way to look at the problem. You really, if you can see that debris and you can avoid that debris, you need to do everything you can to do that. Because every one of those events that, that is a collision creates thousands of other pieces of debris that, that you have to track. But there are limitations to this system. There are millions of objects of varying sizes orbiting Earth. But it's only the thousand or so operational satellites that can be moved to avoid a collision. So, even with the latest technology, can science make any worthwhile predictions about what might happen in the future? What I expect is going to happen is not going to be at all what anybody else that you're going to film is going to say. Because, and I don't know what the answer is, so I'm just going to tell you, you have to live with ambiguity, and I believe that um, it will not unfold in a predictable, linear, um, uh, consistent way from any way that we believe. It's going to be sporadic, and it's gonna be unpredictable, and we're all gonna act surprised, and myself and Don Kessler and Hugh Lewis are gonna go back and go, the variance is large, we told you. <laughs>